this slate of games. Make no plans for Friday. Watch ESPN and ABC NBA playoffs. Coming to you live above the Heineken River Deck and Pier 17 in New York City. Joining us right now on the program, one of our colleagues, someone I respect so much and look up to Money so team. much. It is who, Jalen Rose? Money T, my sister, Maria Taylor, the most versatile person in the industry. The only person in the game with a Heisman and an MVP vote is now joining the show. Listen up, boys and girls. Listen, every time I come on a show, Jacoby, Jalen hypes me up just like that. Like before every <laughs> single show. Okay? So I can't even do my job without someone shouting that out now. It's the whole thing. <laughs> well, I'm about to tear you down because we just watched my Knicks beat your Atlanta Hawks in the garden yeah. now. Yeah. You saw Trey Young say, we'll see you in the A. What do you expect to happen as the series goes down to Atlanta? First of all, you and your Knicks don't want any part of Waka, Jeezy, the Migos, everyone who is now going to be sitting courtside. Y'all needed the entire Madison Square Garden as your sixth man to lift you over the Hawks. And we missed like 16 of 18 shots at some point in that second half while Trey Young was on the bench. So I just want you to know that when you come down south, we got something to say about it and it's not going to be okay. And don't make me get Keisha, our mayor, to start talking about the Knicks, okay? But you don't have time for that. She's real busy. Okay? Ooh, so we'll she ready, you Jacoby. Oh, she was ready for all we'll of your here. convo. And she got on an Outcast t-shirt. They why might I be there performing. I knew Jacoby was about to come. You don't know. I would actually like Outcast to promise us if the Hawks beat the Knicks that they'll just come back and perform one good time in Atlanta. Come on, big boy Andre. Y'all know you want to. The South got something to say. Just do it one time. <laughs> See, Jacoby, you didn't know what you was getting into, my brother. And when Kyrie Irving goes to Boston, he suggested what he might be getting into. And we saw what happened with Russell Westbrook, and he was leaving in Philadelphia as a fan just decided to throw popcorn on him. What are your thoughts about these fan reactions and how the NBA should respond? You know, Jalen, it's so crazy because on one hand, we've been so excited to see fans in the building again at places like MSG and the normal taunting that you see from poor Trey Young, that's acceptable. What's not acceptable is personal attacks on individuals. And that's what we saw with Russell Westbrook. I think that his response was exactly what it needed to be. And that fan doesn't want any part of that. Like, that's unacceptable. You should be thrown out of the game. You shouldn't be allowed to come back. You should be suspended for a year. That's not what these players are there for. We should all be marveling at their talents, what they bring to the game, what they've done mm -hmm. off the court, and not doing things like that. That's disrespectful. AF and it shouldn't happen. Absolutely agree. And as we turn our attention to tonight's games, we have game three between the Suns and the Lakers. Which team do you think this game is more important for? I think every game in this series, Jacoby, is most important for the Lakers. And I'm mm -hmm. not even kidding. I will leave the Suns, mm -hmm. although they're there and obviously they played a great regular season, they're playing with a little bit of house money. Like, they're going to do their thing. We know what we're going to get from Devin Booker. It's so unfortunate to see CP3 getting hurt again, and I hope that he continues to get healthy throughout this series. But it's about LeBron James. It's about Anthony Davis, and it's about a team that hasn't been able to really put all of their stars together consistently. So this is about the Lakers finding out what kind of team they are and whether or not they can make a run at a second championship and do what we've never seen anyone do because Jalen likes to bring it up all the time. What happens to 7-8 and eight teams? Do they win championships? No, they can so do something times. we've never seen before. So many times. So I think that every game that the Lakers are in during this playoff is going to be about the Lakers, and we're not going to make any bones about that. And that's well said. And the reason why seven or AC that's never won a championship is just because they have no rule for error. And we saw mm -hmm. that in game one. The Lakers lost with CP3 hobbled. They barely won in game two with CP actually injured and not able to comp compete at the, la the last handful of minutes of the game. But let's keep it out west. And as I mentioned, you're an MVP voter. We have Dame Lillard. We have the Joker. Series 1-1 going back to Portland. What do you anticipate? 
I love everything about the superstars. You know I love Dame time, and obviously the Joker is the MVP. Uh, but I really have a question for you, Jay Rose, and is the answer to Dame Lillard going to be Aaron Gordon moving forward? Because we saw him get mm. 37 points in the first half of the game. We saw Gordon go on him, and really he couldn't put the same performance together. Is that going to hold true? Is that something you can maintain, or that's a fluke? Because I want to know before I make my pick. I need to hear it from you. I don't think that's a recipe that you can continue to rely on because here's why. All they're going to do is turn Aaron into a pinball machine. They're going to start setting picks on him at half court, three-quarter court, at the three-point line, and Dame going to be going straight downhill. It's something that you can sneak in during the game, and it's something that you don't want to give a guy like Dame a steady diet of anything. And it's better than Capazzo. Just so you know, Maria, Capazzo's mm -hmm. Jacoby's guy. And when he was on Dame, I think Dame just torched him so much, they had to try something. <laughs> hey, he had 37 points in the first half. We was like, I don't know. We're going to do something else. Okay, okay. So with all that being said, and with Jalen believing it's not a recipe, that I'm totally going with the Trailblazers. They go back home. They get to play in front of their 8,000 fans. Dame, mm -hmm. now he knows what to expect. And I don't think mm -hmm. you're only going to get 12 points from Nurkic and CJ and Melo again. Like, that's not happening. Yeah, good point. So, good point. If, right, if his role players show up, then it's a done deal for the Trailblazers. Well, Maria, Jalen, you can see these two along with the rest of the Countdown crew all weekend long on ESPN and the three-letter network, A, B, C. Maria, thank you so Peace much for joining us on the program. You can down. always get exclusive content with our guests <laughs> if you listen to the podcast coming up next on Jalen and Jacoby. We are going to talk about this series. What do the Heat need to do to get back in this series against the Milwaukee Bucks? Stay tuned. You're watching Jalen Jacoby. You want to talk? talk. Next game is going to be tougher. Really encourage my haters to talk Throwing that shade on me, keeping me lit huh. What a flurry by the Knicks Crowd loving every bit of this And the Knicks have the lead Jalen Rose, I'm David Jacoby. We are Jalen Jacoby. Jalen, what, what up, is though? it that we do, though? We get the people what they want. The queen, Maria Taylor, joins us later. And the Jazz She's get a much-needed win too. in Utah. But Jalen Rose, you know we're starting the show. In Madison Square Garden, where the Hawks and the Knicks had game two. It looked bad at first, and then that man, Julius Randle, turned the whole series around. Jalen, what do you think of the Knicks' big win? Got a color TV so I can see the Knicks play basketball. And we questioning who run the city. That was in the message. The first nationally rap song that made mainstream happen for rap music. And for the Knicks, it wasn't poetic like a rap verse. It was physical. Defense is the calling card that they used in order to win game two. In particular, Julius Randle. Mm. How about when he was guarding someone, they were 0 for 15 being guarded by Julius Randle. Normally when you struggle offensively and you had the kind of numbers that he had all season, you come back and you try to shoot yourself out of the slump. He did it with effort. And that embodies this Tom Thibodeau team. This is what Chuck D was talking about and this is why New York Knicks fans, you see Spike Lee on the sideline doing his best dance. That's what they <laughs> like. You know I know. Playing against the Knicks, they want to see effort. That's why Charles Oakley, beyond his relationship with Mr. Dolan, James Dolan, obviously, and rest in peace, Anthony Mason, and those kind of players resonate with the history of the Knicks. That level of toughness, and obviously Derrick Rose was terrific scoring the entire game. It really was, Jalen. As a die easy Knicks fan, this didn't look good in the first half. Like it was, we, I, we were staring at it going 0-2 at home, right in the face. And then Tom Thibodeau did something really smart. He said, "You know what?" I'm
I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put Derrick Rose in there because I know what I'm gonna get from him. I'm gonna put Taj Gibson because I know what I'm gonna get from him. And because when that man, Ice Trey, gets in the game and he starts scoring, it gets really scary. He is a terrifying person to root against because he can shoot from anywhere, he can play make for others, and he can get to the rack. But it was Derrick Rose and Taj Gibson just with that veteran presence, that postseason experience, the, the familiarity with Tom Thibodeau that really ignited this team. And someone rebooted Julius Randle in the third quarter. Someone turned him off and turned him back on again, and the old Julius Randle is back. And I'm so excited to see where the rest of this series goes as it heads to Atlanta. What do you think is next with this series? All I know is this. I better see my guy Gucci at a Hawks game. Oh, you will. Because you know he the king of the burr with a Trey Young jersey on. That's mandatory. Friend of the program, holla at your boy Gucci. I expect to see a long series. Yep. That's what I anticipate. I picked the Hawks, you picked the Knicks. Let's see when they return if Bogdanovich and Trey Young are on the floor together more. Because in game two, the team really struggled with both of those guys off the floor. Expect sure Nate did. McMillan to make that adjustment. Yeah, whenever Trey Young is on the bench, it's a completely different team on the floor. Jalen, that game was exciting. It had energy. It had passion. The other Eastern Conference playoff game last night, not exactly.